I am Sacha Le Corollaire, Extreme Production CEO. We are specialized in post-production, particularly in motorsports. And every year we are working on the 24-hour Le Mans, which is the biggest endurance race in the world. And uh, this leads us to present you the Softron solution that we use. We are using the M80 bundle, which allows us to record eight different video streams. Our technical setup include a new Mac Pro, the 12 core with uh, 64 gigabyte, uh, with two video card D700, which is the biggest configuration from uh, Apple. And it's uh, really strong with uh, incredible power. For storage, we use uh, just there the Pegasus 32 terabyte R8 with Thunderbolt 2 connection. Uh, regarding the video part, we use uh, the M80 bundle from Softron again. This includes the Delta Cast, which is a 8 HD SDI video input card. This PCI Express card is integrated in the Sony Echo Express chassis in Thunderbolt 2. We just need uh, one Thunderbolt cable to link this to the new Mac Pro. And finally, there is eight movie recorder licenses, which are on a USB dongle. We will go through the technical aspect with used resource later on. On the 24-hour Le Mans, we have to record the whole live feed. That means that we record two mainstream from the live feed, the clean one, which is without any graphic, and the dirty one, which is uh, with the data and all the graphic. With this two main stream, we can record up to six other diverted stream that we use for the edit, like uh, onboard camera, by example. The challenge of the event is to record the world live, which is more than 27 hours, including the opening ceremony and the podium ceremony. Movie Recorder allow us to manage these eight stream on the one computer with one interface. We can monitor all the eight video channels. Each HD stream has eight audio channels, so we can have different sources on it, such as uh, English commentary, French commentary, or a radio conversation between team. And uh, with this new version of Movie Recorder 3, we can also listen the audio channel on each source, which is very, very good. We can also manage destination for recording. There is the codec. Here we use the ProRes LT. It's possible to assign many destinations to each source. We can record using many different codecs or reroute the ingest to multiple destinations. Another key feature from Movie Recorder 3 is the edit while ingest, which allows us to start the edit while the file is currently recording. One of the new functions is the auto switch features timing. Uh, that means as soon as the QuickTime file is finished, a new one will start automatically. Uh, you can choose the length. It's the smart function which uh, allows us to improve our workflow and don't miss the action. It's important to notice that there is no frame lost during this process. The schedule function allows us to record at a specific time. In our case, during the race, an highlight edit is produced every two hours so we can record it automatically on a specific channel. Thanks to the timer function, you can do a countdown to stop the record, as long as you know the duration of what you record. And now Laurent, who is working with me, will go deeper in technical specification. Thank you, Sacha. Hi, my name is Laurent Boulanger, and I'm working at Extreme Production as a system administrator. To be able to work in this kind of environment, we found in the M80 bundle a strong hardware and software solution to recon the live feed. The card is connected to the brand new 12 core Mac Pro, including 64 gigabytes of memory and the most powerful GPU. As a multi threaded application, Movie Recorder uses all the power of the new Mac Pro, distributing the CPU load across its cores. When working with Movie Recorder, with the new Mac Pro and with any of the ProRes codec, the CPU load remains very low. This is very amazing. In the background, behind me, you can see Movie Recorder at work. 
And you can see that the CPU load on the Mac Pro never exceeds 50% in ProRes. Usually, when using ProRes LT, we are close to only 20%, depending on how much streams you are recording. And it's the same thing with disk usage. No matter how much streams you are recording, it never exceeds 500 megabytes per second. Also, to keep the system responsiveness, Softstorm recommends us to keep 30% CPU free while recording. That means that you can even work with Final Cut Pro 10. Impressive. But it's still important that you choose a strong, reliable hard drive system like the Promise Pegasus Air 8 RAID system. The Thunderbolt 2, built in with the new Mac Pro and the Promise Pegasus RAID array, can reach up to 1 GB per second. The Softrons M80 bundle fits perfectly with the new Mac Pro and the Promise Pegasus. Here we are to sum up with the M80 bundle solution from Softron. You can easily manage to record up to 8 HD stream on one single computer. The reliability is one of the strengths of this solution for our workflow in which more than 27 hours of continuous live program must be recorded with 8 video channels. It means that we have more than 200 hours of video file. You can find more information on the softron.tv website or on extreme-productions.com and on 24h-lemont.com. Thanks to Softron and thanks to watching us.